Hey, were you lucky enough to get some mini bands for Christmas? Well, grab those right now. We're gonna hit a total body mini band workout and it's coming up right now. Here. My name's Tracy. This is Move Daily Fitness. And if you did get some mini bands for Christmas, we're going to show you how to use them, okay? Hey, if you've never done a mini band workout before, go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen. That's a little tutorial for you, so make sure you check that out first. But if you have before and you're, you know mini bands, then you know this can be a great resistance workout. So in this workout, you're gonna require a variety of mini bands. If you only have one, go ahead and use that, but I always recommend for upper body that you go a little bit lighter, okay? Um, it's hard to do upper body exercises. You have a really heavy band, you could hurt your shoulders, so be really careful about that. Speaking of bands, make sure that you have this no slip, no roll band. This is a really nice, heavy uh, fabric one doesn't slip, doesn't roll, it does what it says, and uh, lots of people can attest to that. So go ahead, check the links below the video here. There's a little drop down arrow you can click down there. The whole workout's listed down there, as well as our new program that's out, so make sure you check that out as well. Okay, all in the show notes below. Now, so you'll need this. Here's the format for today's workout. You're gonna do 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition so that I can show you where to put the band and uh, you don't have to rush that much. All right, are you ready to get started? Grab your water or BCAAs and towel, all your mini bands, and let's move daily. Starting position is gonna be the band above the knees, a moderate band, a light band in your hands, okay? Everything's out front here. We're gonna tap it behind and pull down, alternating. Ready? Here we go. So a little slight squat position, so you're down a little bit, but just stretching those arms and getting them all warmed up. All right, so again, we have a little bit of upper body, a little lower, a little cardio, a little abs. We've got a total body resistance band workout coming at you today, all right? So if you indulge too much over the holidays, this will be a great little workout to get you back on track and using those brand new mini bands. You might have to just get them stretched out. This already is starting to burn. And I've got that light band in my hands here. See, it doesn't take long, does it? Good job, five more seconds here. Bring it down. All right, good. A little shoulder roll right there. Leave the band where it's at on your legs. This time, palms are gonna be up facing the ceiling. Get into a nice low squat position. We're gonna travel walk side to side, put tension on this band like this. All right, so you're walking side to side, tap. Now I'm pulling out. My hands are pulling up to the sides right there, putting tension on the shoulders. Good, stay low. Whew, not doing anything with those shoulders, but I feel them already. A little burn, halfway through with me. We're going to slip that band around the ankles next. Last three, two, and one. All right, same band, but if you want a little bit lighter, feel free to do that. Again, just in warm-up mode here. And you're gonna tap it back behind you while pushing out in front. Ready? And here we go. So tap behind, push in front. Let me show you sideways here. Tap and push. Good. Keep the elbows up 90 degrees there. Push. So one hand stays at the chest, the other one is pressing in front. And I kind of grab the band with my fingers as well so it doesn't flip off and hit me in the face. No one wants that. No one wants that. Keep going. Just a couple of exercises to warm everything up is what we're doing here. I've got one more for you. Then we'll get started with our routine. All right, good. Take that band, slip it above the knees. You're going to go into squat with an overhead reach. So. Light band around the hands, above the head. 
You're squatting low and then reaching overhead. Here we go. Low and up. Pull those arms as wide as you can there. Okay, and drop those glutes. Halfway. Feeling a little bit of this in the biceps here as I control the up. Don't let that band snap, you control it. Okay, that's the beauty of the eccentric phase with using resistance bands. All right, great, shake that out. Get ready to get started, grab some water, and here we go. All right, I've got three lower body exercises to start with. I've got my heaviest tension band above my knees. We're gonna start with some reverse lunges, dropping that back leg nice and low, 20 seconds aside, here we go. All right, so if you don't have the no slip, don't, no roll band, please keep this super shallow. Don't stretch your leg back really far because your band will roll. Okay, shallow, but upper body is completely upright so that your knee is not over the toe there. Good. One more this side. And switch, go, here. You're taking it to the ground next. Okay, I want your feet elevated on a surface of some sort. Going into some little frog pulses. Feet elevated. All right, good. I'm down here, keeping my band where it's at, above my knees. Scoot your bum as close to your bench, your couch, your chair as you can. Let the knees fall out, put tension, and thrust those hips up. Here we go. And up. Don't let those knees come together at all. This is a great tension for this exercise for me. I really feel my body having to push the, the band out. Great glute exercise. We're standing after this for a little plie squat. So get ready. In three, two, and time. Excellent. All right, make your way up. I'm gonna leave the band where it's at, nice heavy band. I'm taking it wide. Knees are gonna go out over the toes, okay? Slow and controlled. Go low and up. That's it. Now, if you find that your mini band is rolling and you just wanna hit a regular squat with feet shoulder width apart, feel free to do that. Okay, sometimes with the rubber bands, that's what happens. Sometimes it's the pants you wear. Sometimes it's the size of your legs. Um, I find that people who have really slender, skinnier legs, they don't have as much band roll. I get band roll because my legs are bigger, but not with this guy. Gotta get it. Okay, one more here. Boom. Woo. Okay, little break for a second. Moving back into that reverse lunge. Repeat that same circuit. Stay tall in four, three, two, and drop it back. Good, same side. Got a little cardio interlude for you as soon as this circuit's done. Switch legs here. Okay, we'll get the heart rate up. It'll be fun, real fun. Remember you're down on the floor next. Get ready for that, five more seconds here. Good, 
Nice, okay, take her down. Band stays where it's at. Now, if you only have a lighter band, or maybe you have two lighter bands, you can put two bands, one below, one above the knees, okay? Feel free to add tension. Here we go, that way. Good, keep those knees out. I keep my eye on them, make sure they're not collapsing in. And squeeze your glutes at the top. Come on, up. Last 10 seconds. Good. All right, up and up, plie squat. Whew. Good warm up. I'm feeling it already. Take it wide. Knees over the toes. Let's go. Slow control. Nice. If you had a dumbbell and you want to add a little extra resistance, feel free to grab that here. Hold it right here. Definitely the options. Halfway. We went for a huge walk, about seven kilometer walk in yesterday. Feel my quads from, and it was like in the snow, trudging through deep snow. It was fun though. I don't know if you saw my photos over on Instagram or Facebook. That's it there. Whew. Make sure you check them out though. Okay, one more round. If you don't follow me over there, do. I post things and stuff over there. It's different than over here, so check it. All right, the links I'll put at the end are there down below too. Here we go. Reverse and same side. Yeah, any nutrition help or recipe ideas, I post um, over there on Instagram, so check that out. All right, switch sides and drop. Super tall, even keeping your chin up so that you keep your upper body up, that's important. All right, on the ground. Get your butt as close to your um, elevated surface as you can, okay? So you can increase the depth. Get ready in three, two, and start. Are any of you guys gonna be watching The Bachelor coming up in January? It's, I think it's starting in a few weeks here. I don't know why or how I get sucked into that. Like, I'm old and then I'm watching that, is that weird? It's like guilty pleasure type of thing. I think I read and listen to so many lectures and podcasts and um, educational books. That's my one thing that I just <laughs> don't care. And uh, quite enjoy, to be honest, just for its uh, entertainment um, abilities. <laughs> All right, that's it there. Good. Last plie. Whew. Good, good. Take it wide. Then we'll take this band off, give those legs a break. Well, cardio round first, and then we'll give the legs a break. Okay? Good. Actually, I'm going to switch to a lighter band for my cardio. Cardio can be aggressive, right? You're popping it out, popping it in. With a heavy band, I think you want slow, controlled actions, not aggressive, fast ones. You don't want to hurt your knees. And if you have bad knees, mini bands can definitely make it worse, so don't do it. Push through the heels, low, and squeeze. Good. Okay, I'm controlled in this, nice and slow, but really pushing out at the bottom. Getting as low as I can. One more. 
All right, slip that band off. Take a moderate band. Where's my moderate? Slip it around just under the knees. Okay, in and out squat jacks. You're low right here. Here we go. This can be modified by stepping side to side, okay, if you don't want any impact. Otherwise, you're here. Let's go. Kick it up. Of course, you want this more difficult. It's around the ankles. Easier above the knees. Good. You're halfway. Come on. Upper body's next. Burning legs in four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab some water. Join me for upper body. Your first exercise is going to take a light band. We're plank position. Okay, I'm going to do a row, row, and then a bear crawl, squat, jack, in and out. Okay, ready, and let's go. Row. Keep it close to the body, and then a little jump in and back, up. So a little ab, a little cardio you'll find, and a little upper body here. Up. Now, you wanna modify the jump, walk in, in, out, out, all right? Nice flat back, neutral neck. Staying down here for exercise two. Up. Woo. Feel this in my shoulders. All right. Stay down here. I'm going to grab a medium weight. Seated position. Cross one leg over. Okay. Link your band around. Single arm pull here. Nice and tall. Ready? Let's go. Pull and a slight turn toward the arm you're pulling, crunching the little obliques and getting a nice retraction of that back. Okay, I'll call halfway on this. Last one here. Good, quickly switch feet and pull. Torso twisting, retraction of that shoulder. Pull it back. Good. We're standing after this. All right, grab a lighter weight. Got my light, light ones here. Little shoulder exercises. Knee soft, palms face down. We're pressing out to the side there. Ready? Go. Here, little pulse. Okay, I'm only gonna give this to you for half the time. And I'm gonna switch the exercise to a pull up. Okay, you're gonna pull up with one arm at a time. Because this would be really hard for 45 seconds. Burning, whew. All right, one at a time here. You're up and switch up, good. Still hard, just increasing the distance. more seconds here. One arm stays anchored at the ground by your leg. Other one is up past 90 degrees if you can. Good. All right, down on the ground. Let's go back to that plank row. Bear crawl, jack in. Get ready. In three, two, and row here. Up, switch, and jack in, back, up. Up and down. Ten seconds here. Whew, 
shoulders. Her knee. Good. Sit down here, remember for that row. Have a seat. Cross the leg. Sitting nice and tall. Row with one arm. And here we go. Pull. And. All right, switch sides. Moving quickly on the switch. Cross and pull. Should be getting between 10 and 12 reps here. Stick your chest out. Last one and pull. Nice, let's go back up for that shoulder. Okay, lightest band, very light band anyway. Knee soft, shoulders back. Remember, little pulses at the bottom. Here we go. Out, that's it. Arms are completely straight here. Now, if your band is too heavy, feel free to anchor one and just pulse one side, okay, like this. Sometimes, I mean, if you've just gotten one band, you've probably got a medium one. All right, we're taking it up, alternating here. It's hard to do upper body with a really heavy band, though I find. Maybe you don't, but I don't want to hurt my shoulders. So a little lighter is better for me and higher reps, just to burn out the muscle a little bit. Remember, we've got another little cardio move coming up after this upper body circuit, okay? So last circuit here, our last round of this one. Get back down into that single side row, bare position. All right, in three, two, and go up. And jump. Hard, isn't it? Is it being great? 15 seconds. Bump down. Woo. Okay. Glad that one's over. It's hard on the shoulders for me, anyway. Okay, sitting tall. Cross that leg over. So the leg that's on top, that's the leg that I'm linking the band around. Let's go, pull. One more this side. All right, switch and cross and pull. I want to make sure that's really anchored. This is a precarious position. If that band snapped right there or, or if it slipped off my foot, I would not like that. Sam I am, I would not like that. Green knees and ham, so don't do it. Nice and hard here, good. All right, last one. I always check to make sure that there's no little nicks in my band. If I'm using them on my legs, it's fine. I know I'm not gonna get hurt. But upper body, if there's a nick, not using that. Ready, and go. Pulse it here. I had someone comment that her, her friend got hurt using the bands and did, said, don't do this video because that can happen. Well, it can happen walking across the street. I mean, you can get hurt. Here we go, lift it up. So you just take your precautions that you need to, but you can't live in a bubble either. I mean, I guess the worst that could happen is this snaps you in the eye and you lose the eye. That's not what you want. But again, that's why if there's a nick in my upper body one, I don't use it. But for lower body, 
I think, like that band's not coming up here, is it? Eh, I take the risk anyway. <laughs> okay, good job. You've got another cardio. I'm taking a moderate or heavy band above the knees, okay? I'm gonna do a center jack side squat. This can be modified by just walking it out, squatting. Here we go. Center jack, turn and squat. Center, low. Again, you want this more difficult, put the band around your feet. Pick up your pace, let's go, 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 come on. Low, jack and go. Three ab moves coming up. Okay. We'll take it to the ground next. In four, three, two, time. All right, good, grab some water, take it to the ground. All right, down on the ground, I've got my medium heavy tension band wrapping around both feet, okay? Holding with both hands, I'm gonna Open everything up and then bring everything back up to V sit position, okay? Get ready. It might take you a few tries to get this one. It's a basic V sit, okay? It's a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie. It takes a little bit of balance, but that's where we're using our core. I'm extending the legs, pulling back. Knees are bent up by my elbows at the top. Whoo, see? I'm feeling abs already. Little hip flexors, but a lot of abs here. Extend and pull. Moving into plank position after this. I'm gonna grab my lightest band for my legs. Lay it out here, come on. Good, all right. So. Taking a lighter band, wrapping it around my ankles, getting into plank. I'm gonna do a little plank jack here. Now you can modify by tapping side to side, otherwise we're jumping it. Here we go. Again. Work for my tired shoulders. They must have done too much work yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Nothing, I went on a hike. I don't know where my shoulders are sore, but this is burning. Woo, good, you're over halfway. Keep moving. Nice neutral neck, look at the ground, not at your feet. Three, two, Time, good, flip it over. Moving into a bicycle, so you're gonna use that same light band, I just lost my shoelace here. But wrap it around both feet, okay? Lying on your back, moving into bicycle right here. Let's go. That was a fast tie on the fly there. So, be mindful this does not slip off your feet here, okay? Reaching my opposite elbow to opposite knee. Good, 15 seconds. Just add a little extra tension onto the legs. That eccentric and concentric tension, I love it. Five seconds. All right, good. Whew, that is work. Great, going back to the, the top with the uh, V-sit. Okay, have your tension around both feet, both hands. Here we go. Lay it out, bring it in. Concentrating on my balance here. Engaging that core. Whew, 
muscle in those abs. Last 10 seconds. Yes, good. Okay, lighten it up if you need. Plank jack. Coming up. Plank position. In three, two, jack is out. Turkey dinner. I'm having that. We have leftovers. Um, I haven't eaten in a few hours. I'm totally starving. That's all I can think of. Here we go. So much for our mind muscle connection for the muscles that we're using. I'm actually just thinking about food. Lovely. I brined the turkey this year. Have you guys done that? It's so yummy. It uh, makes it so juicy and flavorful. I just, I'm always doing that. It's a bit more tedious with the process, but you just basically salt, soak it in like a salt, flavored salt solution. 
It's weird that it's not more salty, but it does something to the cells. I, I can't remember, but. Okay, no more talking. Eight seconds. Three, two, time. All right, let's go for that last cardio. Get your heavier band. Slip it above the knee or below the knee. Are you kidding with the shoelace again? We're ice skating. Okay, come on to standing. Make sure you're not dizzy. Low, and here we go. Let's go, let's just take this one home now. Take it home, where are we? Really? I guess. It's like we're on a long distance marathon run. We're home is right there. We're taking it home. Let's go, let's go. I thought it'd be inspiring, but no. <laughs> oh, shut up, Tracy. Okay, keep going, go. Push, and that's it, that's it. Stay low, you have 20 seconds. Good push, these last 10 seconds, come on now. Go, go. In five, four, three, go. Two, one. And my hair gets caught in my mouth. Okay, yes, you move daily. Fantastic little workout, good job. Let's take it nice and wide, stretching this out here. Pull to one side, stretching on that inner thigh. Good, good. So 2019 is around the corner. Have you thought about some of the things that you wanna to incorporate to change your life to make it better for 2019? Um, switch sides here. Not all of us are keen on resolutions because, uh, you know, like you make them, you break them, it gets depressing and then, it's like, yeah, what's the point of that? I kinda like, restructuring my thinking in a new year, in a new season. Let's hinge forward at the waist here. Stretch all the way down. September allows for that. January allows for that. You know, it's, it's like there's a period of rest and then there's a gearing up period. So you may not like resolutions per se, but let's grab our shoelaces, quad stretch. Um, but it is a great time to restructure, rethink, what is it that I want for myself? Like. What do I want my life to look like? How do I want to feel? What do I want to be? And uh, this morning I just wrote this uh, little article. I sent it out to my email subscriber. So if you're not a part of that, make sure that you head over onto my website and subscribe uh, to be a part of that because in it, and I'll actually I'll link, I'll link it below so you can check this out too if you want. But I just talk about the five things that fit people do. Um, Seth Godin, he's a, a whiz in marketing entrepreneur. Uh, and anyway, he says a quote that I just love is, people like us do things like this. Let's go into a glute stretch, cross it, sit low. So if you want to be fit and healthy, you need to do what fit and healthy people do. So I list five top things in my 12 years as being a trainer that I've observed people who have stayed fit and healthy for the long haul do on a regular daily basis to get that way. So if you want to know those five tips, Go ahead and check it out below and you can see that. Anyway, moving daily obviously is one of them, right? Whether you want to or not, or uh, it's moving daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. It's a whole kit and caboodle. It's a whole package or a holistic approach to changing and shifting your body. And uh, I think that's really important. Let's just take it across here. You can just work on your fitness and that's fine. But then if you have like you know, nutritional deficits or if you have emotional needs, often your fitness is going to be tampered with, right? It's going to be, you're not going to get the results that you want, switch sides. But if you can work on your nutrition and if you can work on your mental health, your wellness, your well-being, that all plays a part in our whole move forward on that journey. So I definitely think it's worth investing in yourself to move forward. All right, arms back, thumbs down, stretch the chest out a little bit here. Didn't do too much chest, but just in those neck extensor muscles there from the shoulder work that we did. This side as well. Anyway, and then of course I'm highlighting the program that I'm putting on my six week accountability strength program, because we're gonna delve into all of that. I mean, that's, that's truly what I think is important to reach up, push your thumb to the ceiling, right? Uh, it's not just, hey, here's a fitness routine, good luck with that. No, because it's not just about being skinny. It's about transforming your life from the inside out. And 
and that is looking at the, the psyche of yourself, your psychological self, that's looking at what motivates you, that's looking at what deters you, um, what barriers block you. I think those are all really important facts. Um, and then nutritionally too, you've got to know exactly scientifically how to get to the transformation that you want. That's important as well. All right, round through the back. I talk a lot. Remember when you guys said that you like it when I talk? <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, you are. Okay. Thank you for joining me. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Don't forget to check out that link below for the uh, blog post that I just wrote on the five tips that will help keep you healthy and fit for the rest of your life. Plus, if you like this workout and you want more mini band workouts, check out our whole playlist. It's right here. Don't forget to subscribe right here. All right, I'll see you in the next video.